Hey everybody, this is Jamie Buter from 432 Design, and I just came across a, a video, or just saw a video, by Dr. Pollock and Dr. McCullough talking about hexagonal water and structured water. And, well, I got to tell you folks, I had to do another video on this, uh, just so I can explain it a little bit better than I did in some of my last videos almost a year ago. Um, but, first of all, this is a myth. It's nonsense. And I'm going to explain to you why. Okay. This is one of the pictures they have up about explaining how hexagonal water is formed through their various devices, like for example, this this $400, you know, Clayton Nolte, you know, natural action thing, you know, this. Okay, they say when you pour water through there, it creates this hexagonal water, and it's supposedly way better for you, and hydrates better, and all this stuff. Okay. And one of the things that they do when they try to explain, right, how liquid water can be structured, they show these ice crystals. They show ice. They show a solid. Okay, sure. I mean, even a crystal, right? Just a, a quartz crystal forms a hexagonal shape, okay? But it's not a, it's not a, a, a true hexagon in, in, a, in a sense. It's, it's in sheets, okay? So, and it's a solid. So if you look at hexagonal water, what they're, what they're trying to tell you is, is, that, is that, well, if you use their device, right, their structured water device, you somehow create this hexagonal water that so apparently, I mean, in, in real life, only occurs in solids. Right? In ice crystals, okay, this, this, is, this is nonsense, okay? Let me just back up a second. Oh, just, here, I'll, I'll say one more thing on this little topic. Water freezes, right, when it expands, okay? When water freezes, it expands, right? It gets bigger. In one of my previous videos, you know that water, when it expands, it expands approximately 9% of its volume. So if you are actually creating hexagonal water, right, these guys, if you're actually creating that, with these awesome devices that people have for structuring water and creating hexagonal water, your water should expand by the same volume. Your water should expand 9%. Okay, has anybody experienced expanding water, liquid water, room temperature water? That's, I'm, it's nonsense, okay? Now, let me explain how the body actually uses this and how important uh, minerals are. Now, minerals are actually electrolytes. They're the same, they're the same thing. Depending, uh, you can call minerals electrolytes, but it really depends on their bioavailability. Okay, how, how bioavailable are those electrolytes that, that can be used by the body? Now, the body has multiple different processes. Okay, it, it brings in nutrients, it takes away waste. It brings in oxygen, it takes away CO2. Everything from digestion to brain function to lymphatic system to the nerve function, everything requires water. Now. When you sweep the floor, okay, you use a broom and a dustpan, okay, you use two different things for one process. Now your body does the same thing. So when I go back to my platonic solids, and I say this in, in one of my other videos, you've got five platonic solids. Now let's say one of them brings in water or brings in air or oxygen, another structure removes it. Another structure brings in nutrients, another structure removes waste okay your body will structure the water according to what it needs okay botanic solids are, are charged molecules of the water and the body structures the water according to its purpose so the main thing when, when I call this hexametric compression now I'm still the only one on the internet that uses the hexametric compression it's a, it's a term that nobody else is using so far if you google it you'll find all my stuff and people have been spreading it but hexametric compression is the behind-the-scenes energy that creates these crystalline forms, okay? The hexagonal shape does not exist in water. It only exists in a solid, all right? So what, what the body needs as far as electrolytes, it needs them all, okay? Because it, it's what creates the charge molecule. These molecules of water, right, these different things. I have a, a, um, another video on the tetrahedral icosahedral water structure that, that was done by uh, a multiple scientists. I did a video on that already. Check that out. Do, just do a YouTube search for my name. My YouTube channel is blocked in the United States due to Leonard Horowitz and his, his stuff through a divorce proceeding. I got a whole other video on that. So you're going to have to go to YouTube and just do a search for my name in order to find my videos because you can't go to my channel. If you're in the United States, it's blocked. So anyway, the, the, the body needs these electrolytes to create these charged particles that allow the... 
See, because each one of these particles of, of water, right, requires a different charge to, to form it. Your body does that. Your body creates the pH in your blood. The water that you drink does not, okay? It all depends on the electrolytes and the body charge. If you don't have electrolytes, you can't, you don't have electricity going on. You need electricity in the body to do all these different things. So I just wanted to sum up the processes of the body, all right? Great hexametric compression moves that, um, moves the molecules depending on their purpose. And that's how the body delivers oxygen, removes waste, removes, that's how the body does all these different processes is it do, does it through charged platonic solid molecules of water, okay? Hexagonal water is a myth. This whole thing is a myth. Just because people have a PhD beside their name doesn't mean they're automatically believable. Remember, Mark Twain once said, it's easier to fool the people than to convince them they've been fooled. And if you've bought one of these $400 act natural action technology things, then you've been fooled, people. Because the reason why the person who bought this for 400 bucks gave it to me to, to ruin was because he already had one of my devices. This has been on the market for a year now, almost. He got one of these devices and said, this is a bunch of crap. He gave it to me to do a video on it and say, hey, man, debunk this, man, get this out there. I mean, he's seen all of my other videos. So he knows there's no such thing as structured water. There's absolutely no such thing as hexagonal water. It doesn't exist. The forms of the hexagon only form in a solid. And they form in sheets. Look it up. Check it out. Okay? I mean, this isn't anything that's any new. I'm not creating something different except for my hexametric compression. But the fact of the, of the matter is that you cannot create hexagonal water. And that, that one shape, what they're telling you is, is that one shape does all the different processes that the body needs. Really? Really? Well, I leave it up to you. This is my company name. This is my name. Do a Google search or I'll do a YouTube search on me. And look up electrolytes because the charges that, that create all this, the charges that the, the electrolytes provide the body is what's necessary for health. Okay? And your body creates all different types of molecules to do whatever, you know, whatever process it needs. But I guess maybe I should explain that again. To, to bring in oxygen requires a different structure. To remove carbon dioxide requires another structure, another electrical charge. You see what I'm saying? See, all these different forms of water molecules require different charges, different charge states. And that is how the body functions. Bringing in oxygen, removing CO2, bringing in nutrients, removing waste, etc., etc. Your body needs different charged molecules for different processes and not one, uh, one single molecule will do it. And this isn't even possible. That's the thing that blows my mind. Hexagonal water isn't even physically possible to make. Try it. If you think you're structuring your water, your water should expand 9% if you're creating actual hexagonal water, right? Should. Check it out. If it doesn't, then get one of my devices. And <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, this, this should pretty much, you know, sum it up. I don't see anybody with pictures of their water doing this kind of stuff. I don't see any evidence of, 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 of hexagonal water under a microscope or anything else. Okay? So do your research. Look it up. Check it out. Think about it. And so then, then you can know what the truth is. Okay, if somebody tem comes and talks to you about hexagonal water or structured water or Dr. Pollock or Dr. Mercola um, or any of these other PhD people out there, you have the right to question that and do your own research and think for yourself. All right, this is Jimmy Buter. Thank you.